Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shane, and I'm a wedding and commercial photographer here in Germany. And today, we're going to be talking about a Lightroom workflow for wedding photographers that works in conjunction with pro image editors. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy our images from our SD card onto our computer, and let's get right into it. So, once we have our card in the computer, I would recommend creating a folder with the couple's name on it, just like so, and you can copy it anywhere you like. So in our case, we have Mark and Jessica. Great. And let's open this folder and create a second folder inside. Why? Because we are going to stick our raw files inside this folder. Right? It just helps with the organization of everything, and believe me, it saves a lot of time in the future. Great. So we have the raw folder created and let's now open up our SD card. For this example, I only took eight images, but of course from a wedding, you're going to have a lot more. So it will take time to copy. Let's click and drag this into the raw folder. And while it's doing that, we can go ahead and create a new Lightroom catalog. Now, the reason why we recommend creating a new catalog for each uh, project is it has so many benefits in the terms of the speed of your program. Lightroom doesn't need to load 200,000 images that you've added over the years. With every project, it keeps it nice and neatly. And it also serves as a safety, just in case something goes wrong with the catalog file, you don't lose every single project that you have ever done. It also just makes organizing and backing up so much simpler. So we personally recommend creating a new catalog for every single project that you do. And it's so easy, it's, it's a, it's, you can't not do it. So to create a new catalog, we simply go up to File, and the very first option is New Catalog. So we're presented with this dialog box, and I'm going to keep this organized and, and create the catalog inside the same folder as the raw files, although not in the raw folder. So Mark and Jessica we have selected, and we'll copy it into here. It's a good idea to name the catalog the same as the project name, just again to keep track of everything. So Mark and Jessica, and we created it. Lightroom will most likely refresh and close and reopen. The next part we do now is we're going to import the photos. Okay? You can click the button down here on the bottom left or simply by pressing Command, Shift and I on a Mac or C Control, Shift and I on a PC. And you will be presented with this dialog box. Now we just need to navigate to where we copied the folders, the images, excuse me. And we have found it here in the raw folder. Now, we don't necessarily need to copy the files because that will make duplicates of them and put them somewhere else. We can simply add them to the catalog without moving them, right? Now, on the top right here, we have an option to build smart previews. And we, went, we had a video dedicated specifically to smart previews, but it, as an, in a nutshell, a smart preview is a smaller version of the raw files, small to the point that the images are 2,000 pixels on their longer side, which makes editing really, really fast, and the file sizes really small, which makes it great to send to pro image editors. Okay? Now, there's also benefits in terms of the speed of your program when it comes to editing, and don't worry, you still have your high-resolution files. Smart Previews will copy all the adjustments to the high-res when you export it in the end. So let's go ahead. Smart Previews are checked, and we are good to go. Depending on the amount of photos that you have, it may take some time to import and build the previews. So it's a perfect time to go grab a coffee and come back uh, when it's done. In our case, eight photos didn't take very long. Okay, now one thing I forgot to mention before uh, on the importing is you can choose to render previews. I've opened up the um, folder again, but if you notice here, build previews, you can choose to render the images one-to-one, -one, which means 
it is exact high resolution or you could keep it to minimal. Now this is interesting because keeping it on minimal means it's going to be even faster when you're going through a thousand images. Lightroom doesn't need to work so hard to display all those pixels. And with smart previews, the quality is perfect enough to see even the small details. So now if you did like me and you want to create these minimal previews, you can simply highlight all the images pressing Command or Control A, Library, Previews, and discard any one-to-one -one previews or standard previews that you have made. Okay, next we are going to start the culling process. And in my example, I only have eight images, but this works fine for the example. So we begin by browsing through all the images that we've taken and by marking the images with the X key, X means no, that means we are definitely not going to take them. So if I open up the grid like this simply by pressing the G key and I press the X key, you can see now how this file has grayed out. This means it is rejected. Okay, and let's say we'll take this one. It's a great way of, of getting rid of the shots that you definitely don't want. And you don't need a massive catalog um, full of images that you don't necessarily will ever use. So with this, we have removed these images and you can simply press Command or Control Backspace and it will remove these from your catalog. And you're left with a perfect selection to be ready for editing and sent to pro image editors. Okay. The next part we're going to be doing is we're going to start the develop module. Right? This is where we start getting into the, the tweaks and the little bit of edits and probably creating some reference images for pro image editors since this is uh, really, really helpful for them to follow along and to apply the same things to each series. Now just be sure to be very descriptive when you're speaking to pro image editors in the description box. Give them as much information about what you want and what you expect and you know they, they're more than happy to help and of course you can always ask them questions and they'll gladly be there to help you. So we are now going into the develop module and we are going to start applying some work. Okay. For example, in this one, we have a preset that we like to use, and it's a preset we're going to be sending to um, pro image editors. Though keep in mind, pro image editors do keep up to date with the latest presets such as VSCO and plenty, plenty more. So chances are they have these. However, and as seen in another video that we've done, updating or creating a new preset will require us to send it along with them, which We'll get to in a little bit. But for the moment, let's take one of our presets here and apply it to the image. And we can start doing little bits of edits across our wedding. Okay, And we can apply it to here. We can simply click the previous button, which basically copies the last image and applies it to the settings to the next image. And we can do the basic edits. Now, if you have a thousand or so images from a wedding, you're gonna doing 10 to 20 Im edits yourself is probably not the biggest load of work and it'll save so much time and probably help a lot with the accuracy of the results you get back from pro image editors because you mark them as reference images okay so now for example let's say we take in these two images two completely different scenes and we are going to mark them as reference images and you can mark them any way you like you can mark them with stars by pressing the number keys on the keypad from one to five. And from six until zero, you can mark them with colors. So six will be red, seven will be yellow, eight will be green, etc. And you can play around and see what it looks like. Okay. For this case, I will simply leave it as green and you can always right click and go and set color label to green or however you like. Okay. Once we have found the reference images, we can then keep a note of that for ourselves to tell pro image editors that for the images that are marked green, I want this preset to be applied. And for the images that are marked red, I want this to be done to them. 
it's a great way of organizing and it makes such a difference when you start learning how to mark, um, mark the images. Okay, so now we're ready to get these images sent off to pro image editors. It's very, very simple. All we need to do is go back to our folder that we created that has our catalog inside. Okay, you see the raw folder here that we created? The one here, Mark and Jessica, has the catalog. And as we described in another video, sending directly to pro image editors, all they really need to see are these two files here. The smart previews.lr data and the .lr cat for catalog. This is what we're going to be sending to pro image editors. And in the next coming videos, you'll see just how easy it is to send it across and get some amazing work done for you and takes so much time away from sitting behind the computer. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this workflow helped you. And of course, please get in touch with us if you have any questions or anything you would like to know. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.